The Honourable Minister of Family Services and Labour. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. April 28th is the day of mourning for workers killed or injured on the job. As April 28th falls on a Sunday this year, Friday today will be observed as the day of mourning by workers and governments around the world. On this day, we remember the men and women who did not return home safely from work last year. Today's day of mourning is especially poignant as the world is witnessing the horrific aftermath of the collapse of a garment factory in Bangladesh. As we remember the Manitobans who lost their lives to workplace injury, we also pray for the victims in Bangladesh, their loved ones, and those that remain trapped. Last year, 10 workers died on the job in Manitoba, and 29 more died as the result of illness related to their work. Many more were injured significantly enough that they required extensive treatment and rehabilitation, and some may never return to work. The gravity of these workplace incidents is enormous, and their toll on families and communities in Manitoba is all the more tragic because they are preventable. The day of mourning is a reminder to us of the ongoing challenges we face in eliminating death, injury, and illness in the workplace. This year's annual Workers' Day of Mourning Leaders Walk, organized by the Safe Workers of Tomorrow, will consist of a walk from the Union Centre to the Manitoba Legislative Building, followed by a media event at the Grand Staircase. At the event, I will be announcing Manitoba's five-year plan for workplace injury and illness prevention, the result of a series of reviews conducted in 2012 of Manitoba's approach to workplace safety and health, and drawing on the input of hundreds of Manitoba workers and employers. Today, as we remember and honour those workers who were killed and injured on the job, we must strengthen our commitment to work together to put an end to these preventable tragedies. I would ask that following the statement from other members of the House that we stand together for a moment, moment of silence to honour the mem memory of the men and women who were injured or killed in the workplace this past year. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <coughs>